Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on this uh, scared board customized sim part. So this is the first part where I'm going to work on the customizing. Here we are going to set up the materials and the necessary parameters to have this different colored skateboards. So here we are going to develop a function that allows us to easily modify the metal color, wheel color and the board material with different textures. So later on we will implement an interface for this, a user interface for customizing the board. But first let's finish the material setup and the required functions. Alright, so this is what we have at the moment. We have a skateboard and and if I go to the blueprint you can see the skateboard here it's just a simple color nothing fancy actually this is the skateboard I originally had I exported it into blender and separated five material slots for this rubber part and the metal part and the board and for this base here so we have now four materials and i have unwrapped uv for these parts for these i'm just going to use some colors for these parts i'm going to i'm planning to apply some textures and I have created a couple of textures including this one and I have already imported them here okay now uh, the modified skateboard is this one this is the one that I have with those different material slots here the four material slots for the board and the rubber part and this base and the, uh, whatever this part okay so now let me set up the board uh, first let me assign skateboard 3 and everything should work without an issue because it is shared in the same a skeleton and M board here instead of this uh, well we can actually use this one also if we are planning to have some plain only a plain color so I'll just uh, call this color I undid the change I did and yeah it's red now I duplicate this and call it embod textured and into this we can export import one of these materials let's go with this one and I'll convert this also to a parameter I'll call it board texture other values perhaps default values would work because all we need is somewhat of a plastic look and if I assign that material and board textured this is how it looks right and here is the blueprint cool. now we have this cool looking tech, uh, skateboard 
uh, similarly let's make this axle mm. also look more like a uh, metal so metal 0.9 color let's have a bit dark one roughness that's uh, too much metal like now point two okay uh, for the wheels let's give some white color smashing yeah Now, uh, that we have set up the materials, um, I'll call the same wheel instead of rubber. Here, let's add a new function, update board and get the skateboard. So first thing we can change is um, board texture. So set material text. Uh, so we can create a material instance. Um, I Board textured one and my board textured two. Now, here we can override the textures. Okay, like this. Now, uh, skateboard. First material is the uh, board. So, set material. We don't need two references. Index zero here. We can do a select. And if we have three options. But perhaps not that. Let's pass this as a parameter now. And I'll call it board material. Okay. The next one is, uh, let's say, metal color so set with parameter value on materials now here we need to use a different name instead of color so I'll call it metal color And then we need to have a linear color. Let's uh, add a new parameter. Uh, 
in your color so that we can even have a default value I'll call it metal color and we can get metal color and directly assign it like this this parameter uh, variable is same as this one okay metal done this is wheel color So I'll do the same. Well, color. We need another variable called wheel color. I'll give. A color like this as default the what else board face well I'm not really sure what's the name for this part. So anyway, that part is not really visible. Or oh, we can assume that's also metal and assign the same metal material. Uh, uh, but if you want, you can assign a separate material and a slot to modify that too. Okay, now I have developed the function and uh, let's go to the construction script. Here we can call update port and board material and board textured. Let's assign this one. This is just to test the function metal color red, wheel color. I'll leave it like that see now it's like this so if I say this one compile now we have that color A black did I change the wheel color? Oh, I haven't assigned it. Right now, wheel color is also assigned. All right, okay, now let me create few inputs so that we can dynamically change these uh, colors and the textures mm, I'll set up key one keyboard one key Board two and key three. So this is only temporary. I'm gonna set up a separate um, widget 
an interface to customize the skateboard this is only for testing purposes I'm going to work on an interface to customize the skateboard. So thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.